In this demonstration, we'll see how the Dell Management Console's monitoring and alert capabilities will integrate with the Semantic System Recovery plugin. So we'll start by coming here under the Rule folder, and we're going to come to the Task Rule tab under that folder. Uh, task Rule is just combining a specific rule or set of rules with a given task so that we can take some action. Uh, so let's take a look here. We can name our task rule. In this case, we'll call it Perk Predictive Failure. And we'll indicate Exchange because this rule will basically monitor for any uh, any physical servers with Exchange that have a failing hard hard drive or failing perk failing RAID controller. Uh, so we'll just come down here now under Rules, and it's very straightforward. We just say if the alert, um, and we can choose. In this case, we'll just say uh, if the alert contains the perk predictive failure alert, which is a standard hardware alert for Dell servers. And if the server that sent the alert is an exchange server, then we're going to take some sort of action. And it's important to note that we're able to get the hardware alert from um, a component installed on Dell servers called Open Managed Server Administrator. And we're able to identify the server as being an exchange server from the Alteris agent that's also installed. Uh, so those two agents are working together here to let us know, hey, you have a failing exchange server. And then we can come down here to task and see that we have any number of predefined tasks for Dell hardware uh, where we could we could do something there. And if we close uh, close this out, we'll actually show you how to actually just create a task. So if we come here, we'll add an existing uh, job as a task. And if you see here, we have a predefined job called P2P or physical to physical failover. And if you look at the details for that job here in the center of the screen, You'll see it just simply steps through and says, make sure the server is failing. If it is, identify another server that we can deploy its image to. And then uh, deploy that image and then send me an email to let me, know that it, let me know that it's happened. So we'll say OK here. And we'll save this. And if we come back to our alert console, we'll see that uh, we have an alert. So let's go over there. So if we scroll down here, this is the console that gives you your alerts for any servers in your environment. What we're going to do is we're going to click the refresh button and we'll see that we'll have a new alert. And that alert is from a PowerEdge 2950, which appears to be running Exchange. So let's drill into it and take a closer look. And you can see here that that's the 2950 with Exchange and it did indeed send the perk predictive failure alert. So if we want to see what action was taken, we can just click here on the link and we can see the results of the task rule that we set up with green check marks letting us know that each step was executed successfully and uh, as we said earlier an email is sent to the administrator in this case so let's go take a look at what that email looks like here in the email you can see it's in plain English your PowerEdge 2950 with exchange failed that image was redeployed onto a PowerEdge 850 and uh, you can click this link to go to the resource manager for the 850 and uh, you can even go a step farther and launch the, the remote access card to get to the console and, uh, and check out the actual 850 to make sure Exchange is up and running. So that's the end of our demonstration. Hopefully that was helpful. Have a great day.